welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Pretty Lou. I am Chef Hara. I pray all is well with each and every one of you. I'm going to be making my delicious jackfruit crab cakes. Yes, jackfruit crab cakes are really tasty. Um, you know, jackfruit is a fruit that is used for a lot of vegan meat substitutes. And jackfruit is known to be a cancer fighter. Look up the benefits of jackfruit, everyone. When you have some free time, look at all the benefits that you get from using jackfruit. So what we're going to be using in this recipe is some Old Bay seasoning, some black pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika. I'm going to be using some Italian seasoning. I'm going to use a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm going to use some salt. I'm going to use some panko bread crumbs. I'm going to use, of course, the star jackfruit in the brine. I'm going to use some vegan mayonnaise. And I'm going to, you know, use some chopped onions and um, green onions as well as peppers. So the jackfruit will come inside of the can, as you can see. It's going to come inside of the can and it's going to come inside of water. And you have to drain the water out. You drain the water out of that can and rinse your jackfruit off. And after you rinse your jackfruit off, I used to take a knife and cut the front, the tips of the jackfruit. It's a front tip and it's a back tip. I used to cut that off, but I no longer cut that off. I just take it, take the whole piece of jackfruit and I slice it up. That's what you see actually on this cutting board right here. That's what you see, the cut up jackfruit. I shred it up. It comes in really, you know, you could shred it up in pieces like that. And... Let's get started. We're going to start putting all this stuff together and throwing it in the bowl, getting our cakes ready to go. So I'm about to put all of this inside of a bowl. I'm going to put the jackfruit and onions and peppers inside of a bowl. You guys, this, I mean, um, this vegan crab cakes, they're really good. Like, they're really tasty. I'm not going to lie to you, you know, and say to you, if you're used to eating crab meat, this is not going to taste exactly like crab meat, but the texture, they got the texture down. You know, the texture is really close to it. And, you know, I'm going to um, use like Old Bay seasoning and it'll get, really give it a really good flavor, but it won't taste exactly like a crab cake, but it will give you a similar taste and it'll have a really good texture, but they're really tasty because I know a lot of people think, especially if you're not vegan, I know a lot of you think that vegan food is not tasty, but trust me, long as you season it up right, it could be very good. So I want to show y'all, this is how the jackfruit comes in a can. Now, you see it's in water. See that water? It comes in water. So I'm going to actually drain that water out. And once I drain that water out, I am going to wash the jackfruit off. Make sure you wash all the jackfruit pieces off. And this is what a piece of jackfruit looks like. You see that? Now before I used to cut off the tips, like I was saying, I used to cut off this front little tip and this back little tip. But the more I researched and learned about jackfruit, I definitely can, you know, eat the whole piece. So... I'm gonna, um, I have my onions in the pan, and excuse me, I have my onions in the bowl, the jackfruit is in the bowl. I'm gonna put my peppers inside this bowl. I chop these peppers kind of big, cause I like to actually see my peppers inside of my food. So I'm gonna put those peppers in there. Put that all in. Now from here, you're basically, you're basically just going to throw everything together. Everything will be together. I'm going to take my um, veganaise, 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 <laughs> which one is it? But anyway, I'm going to take my veganaise. Oopsie, look at me. I have some jackfruit that's spilled out right here. Now, I'm going to take this veganaise and I'm going to... Put a few um, scoops of the vegan A's in here. I'm gonna mix that in. Mix that in really good. Mix it all in. 
This is really simple because it's one of those recipes you just throw everything all in together and it is really tasty. Now I want to tell you, for those of you who want to know where do you find jackfruit at, you find jackfruit in your Asian markets. Like if you find an Asian supermarket in your um, city, you'll find jackfruit. And when you find the jack jackfruit, make sure it says green jackfruit and brine. Because jackfruit, if you buy it in its um, natural form, natural state, it's really big. And if you cut it, it's going to be extremely sweet. So this jackfruit, this is the jackfruit that's not ripe. This is unripened jackfruit. The jackfruit that you'll find in the supermarket is just a big, gigantic fruit. It will not be good inside of crab cakes. That's a, that is really going to be sweet. Once it's ripened, it's really sweet. And it kind of reminds you of juicy fruit gum it has the flavor of like a juicy fruit gum and you don't want that so you make sure you find that jackfruit that's in the can that's in the brine sorry about my fingers now from here i am going to now pour my breadcrumbs make sure you use panko breadcrumbs and if you don't have a local asian market the only supermarket that I know besides that I know besides the Asian supermarket that carries this is Trader Joe's. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, make sure you try Trader Joe's. I get them at Trader Joe's for two dollars and forty nine cents. So I'm gonna mix that all in, mix them breadcrumbs in, mix it in very well. Now, we're going to begin to season this up. So, I added some more breadcrumbs and I added the flour inside of it. And I'm going to get ready to put my seasoning. There's my paprika. I'm going to put some Old Bay. I'm adding a little more Old Bay because I really like that Old Bay flavor. Now, usually what I put inside of this is called sprinkling seaweed. So it's a different mixture of um, seaweed that you could sprinkle into your food to give it the taste of the sea. I searched all over Whole Foods yesterday for it and I could not find it because I usually always put this in my crab case. It gives it an extra, um, really extra, um, it adds extra flavor. I'm going to now put some garlic powder, then I'm going to put some onion powder. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now you don't have to add cayenne, I just like a little bit of spice. I'm going to add black pepper, if I can open the black pepper, I always struggle with the black pepper, I don't know why, <laughs> we're opening it up, and I'm going to add a little bit of sazon, that's up to you if you want to add it, some vegans don't use it, or make your own, you know sazon is made from annatto. Now you gotta get in there. Of course my hands are washed. I wash my hands all the time. Wash them, you gotta get in there. So I'm mixing really well. Make sure you mix in well all of those seasonings. This kind of reminds me of how I used to make salmon cakes, like a salmon cake, you know? So the flour and the um, panko breadcrumbs is what's gonna hold this together. You're gonna shape these and form these into patties. You're gonna preheat a frying pan on the stove with just a little bit of oil, and we'll go from there. Let's get our frying pan ready to go. I actually allowed the um, mixture to sit in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, but you don't have to do that. I just feel like um, it actually, by it being refrigerated, I feel like it firms up the um, jackfruit even better. But what I'm actually doing now is forming them into patties. So, you know, you just put 
some in your hand. You shape it according to how big or how small you want your patties. You shape it like that. And you get ready to put these inside of the um, pan. So you're gonna basically sear them. So you only need a little bit of oil in the bottom of your pan when you're gonna pan sear um, the crab cakes. So I'm gonna pan sear, sear them for about 10 minutes on both sides. Now, actually, after that, they can, they're actually done, but I um, actually do another step. I put them in the refrigerator. I mean, excuse me, my apologies. I put them in the oven on 350 degrees for 10 more minutes. You don't have to do the oven method, but I like the way it comes out a little more, like after I sear it, and then I place it in the oven. I like the way it, you know, I like the way it comes out, but you can stop at the pan searing. That's sufficient enough, but if you wanna go a little further, you can. So this is about the size I'm gonna make mine. They're not too big, not too small. I hope you can see these. I hope you can see these, hopefully. So I'm just gonna shape a few of these patties. Trust me, once you make my recipe, you'll be like, oh my goodness, like, it's so good, it's so delicious, and there's no crab in here whatsoever, and it's made from a plant, and you're, the more you, you know, you make, little vegan recipes you will find that the food is actually tasty the problem is everyone is that people don't season their food very well now just because you've turned vegan or went vegan that doesn't mean stop stop seasoning your food <laughs> some people feel like they can't season anymore no who wants bland food whether you're vegan or not i don't know many of us that want bland food so it's all about the seasonings everything like even for instance, let's take for instance, if you were going to eat a steak, right? You're going to probably marinate it. I mean, it depends on how you might marinate it first. And then you're still going to add all your seasonings to it. Your salt, your pepper, your garlic, whatever else you want to add. You're not just going to cook the steak, you know, cook the steak in a pair with no seasonings. Y'all not going to like the food like that. So that's the same way it is with veganism. Long as you season, I tell you. The food will be bomb. So this is, I'm getting these together to go in this pan. All righty. So you see, that's how they're looking. Let's put these in our preheated pan with a little bit of oil in the bottom. As you can see, the Jackfruit Crab Cakes are in the pan. They're cooking up a pretty golden color and they smell so good. Reminds you of salmon cakes, like I said earlier. So it's been cooking for 10 minutes on that one side. Now I'm gonna flip it over to the other. You see that? Puts you in the mind of salmon cake. I'm flipping them over. It's 10 minutes on both sides. And like I said, I'm gonna put them after I take these out of the pan, I'm going to put them in the oven for 10 more minutes. I mean, like I said, you, you all can, you know, you can stop at this step. You don't have to put them in the oven. Many a times I stop at this step and, you know, they're ready to be eaten. But these are going to go in for 10 minutes. They are simple. If you're familiar with cooking crab cakes, salmon cakes, any form of fish cakes, this is exactly how you do the jackfruit cakes. They smell so good and they're so crispy. So once these are taken out, we're going to plate these up so you can see these babies and how they taste. So this is the crab cakes out of the oven. It only took, like I said, I did 10 minutes on both sides in the pan and then 10 minutes in the oven. And this is the final result. I ate about three of these already, so I don't want to really eat any more. But these are really good. They are tasty. You can make them. Look at it. You see? You can really make these on your own and they'll be really good. So, till next time, everyone, make sure whenever you cook your food, you cook it with love. Ciao.